Hey there, it's Grant, back with another video. And before we go any further, please give this video a like, give it a share, and follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Now, today I'm at Urban Wellness Hub, and I'm trying something that I've been looking forward to for a long, long time, float therapy. Now, as you know, I rarely say no to experiences. I am a big yes man. And when I first heard about this, I was actually watching The World According to Jeff Goldblum on Disney+, Plus, where he went into a pod for an hour and floated in darkness and silence. <sighs> Urban Wellness Float contacted me and asked if I would like to partake in this experience, and I said yes! Apparently, no float is the same. CEOs of companies float once a day to get their best ideas, and regular people that meditate find a deeper level of meditation doing this, so I am ready. The only thing that's making me a wee bit wary about the experience is upstairs. I meditate daily, and I can sometimes, you know, keep the mind chatter down to a minimum, but a whole hour in a pod where I have to calm and meditate. Let's see how we get on. Right, so I have entered the pod room. There is a shower, heated floors, I've taken my shoes off, and behind me is the main pod itself. I was wondering what on earth this is. No, it's not a toilet seat. Uh, this is a float ease halo. So this is gonna be around my head while I'm gonna be horizontal. I have to think there for a minute. Now, the team here have stated that I uh, need to put earplugs in. Uh, it was, it's going to be very strange because that's going to take away one of your senses to help you in the relaxation. And also to make sure we have a shower that is colder than what we're used to. So your body temperature goes in line with the water. It's really scientific. Can you tell I'm struggling with this? Some people like to do this in a, a bathing suit. Me, no. I'm gonna be as naked as the day I enter this world. Got my halo, the only one I'll ever have. Let's do this. Wow. That was an experience. I'm trying to decompartmentalize, I think that's the word, that experience. I think the first thing that I've noticed, and my, uh, my brother was saying this after his session, was you become very aware of your weight. And I'm not talking about like fat shaming or like heaviness or anything, but that is the first time I have ever been purely weightless. So for the first 10 minutes, the uh, lights are on and the stars are on the ceiling and there's music playing and I was mentally saying to myself, okay, in 10 minutes time, this room is gonna be pitch black. And first of all, I thought I would be a little bit claustrophobic. Second of all, I thought I'd get bored very quickly because I've got such an active mind. I thought, well, I'm just gonna sit in the dark, pitch black for 40 minutes, what the heck am I gonna do? But not the case because when I started focusing on my breathing and getting myself into that meditative state, uh, that namaste consciousness, whew, I was just awake. And you don't even have to be a regular meditator to experience that. As I said in the beginning, I was a bit nervous about my mind chatter. My mind did have a wee yap to itself, but I did just let it talk itself until it was bored, and then we went quiet again. I thought for the first 10 minutes of darkness that I would just bob about the tank like a DVD screensaver just hitting the corner bit by bit. But actually, after a while, and with the halo on as well, I didn't realize that I was slightly bobbing into the wall or feeling it because I was Again, I'm saying it again, I was somewhere else. Now, something that the team here at the Urban Wellness Hub have said, that this was just my first float. Like I said in the beginning, no float is the same, and that goes for each time you go and different people. So I really am looking forward to my second float and see what experiences that come with that, because I've got to be honest, as I was bobbing there, I was thinking, 
I'm filming this for a video and how am I going to talk about this? And I was really documenting my experience while I was floating there. But the next time I'm looking forward to having nothing but just that experience. Urban Wellness Hub here in Aberdeen. Check them out on social media. Go and book your very first float. This is Scotland's only float room, so you've got to come here to do it. Now I'm just going to namaste myself out of here. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Grant. Stay safe, peace and love. Make good choices.